Today we're going to make two different types of storage crates. We're going to start with the more modern looking crate. And to make this, we're going to cut some 2x10s and some fur 1x4s with our compound miter saw. I will be posting drawings with dimensions on my website. I'm going to drill a series of 1 and 1 quarter inch diameter holes into the 2x2s on the ends of the crate. These holes will serve as handles for the crate itself. I used a knife and some sandpaper to smooth out the holes and connect them into one nice handle. I then sanded down the 2x10s with an orbital sander. I'm ready to start screwing together the pieces, but I want to make sure the wood doesn't split, so I pre-drilled holes for all my screws. After screwing together the three pieces of 2x10, I was ready to start screwing the fur 1x4s into place. To make the lid for the crate, I laid out three pieces of 1x4 and then took two additional pieces of 1x4s and screwed them to the underside to hold the lid together and also serve as stops so that the lid won't slide off. I finished the crate with one coat of Minwax polyacrylic finish. The second crate is going to be made out of 2x6s and 3 quarter inch thick pine boards. I'm going to continue to pre-drill holes just to make sure the wood doesn't split. I used a clamp to hold the pieces for the top in place while I screwed them together. And I didn't take my own advice. I got in a hurry and tried to screw in the screws without pre-drilling the holes and ended up splitting the piece of wood. Because the wood split, I then had to screw in from the side to actually screw the two split pieces back together, thus creating more work for myself. I measured and cut strips of pine for the underside of the lid to keep the lid from sliding off. For this crate, I drilled holes in either end of the crate and then tied in pieces of rope to use as handles. I'm really excited about these crates. They provide excellent storage alternatives to the sort of ugly plastic bins. For more detailed instructions, go to my website and if you want to see what I'm working on next, be sure to follow me on Instagram. And be sure to check out Ryobi Nation, where you can post your own projects, find lots of DIYs, and also have a chance to win the tools that I use. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already.